Your original reservoir has a barbed fitting for the hose and you'll want to remove that. You'll take a vice grips and just remove that fitting. Then you'll install your new fitting which has a 3AN fitting on the end of it. As you see here we've installed this one and the proper installation you'll see leaves a little bit of room. We've put some white Teflon tape on there and you don't want to twist it all the way through into the reservoir. Uh, you'll tighten it with the 7 16 but leaving a little room so that that fitting doesn't go through into the bottom of your reservoir. Next you'll remove the black 90 degree plastic fitting out of the top of your master cylinder. You'll just want to wiggle this free. You'll have to use a little bit of pressure but the seal here you do not want to disturb that that rubber seal. So you'll use a little pressure. You can see I'm wiggling it around a little bit um, but it does take a little bit of effort to pop that out. Just kind of wiggle it around and side to side uh, trying not to disturb that black grommet. And as you can see here I've got it out and the black grommet is still flush. If it were to get disturbed you can literally just carefully take a screwdriver and straighten it back out. Now you'll install your new QDF fitting with the 3AN fitting on the end. You'll insert the QDF part into this black grommet, kind of angle to the side and slide it from side to side and round and round. You'll feel it kind of slides into the fitting nicely. You'll have to pop it in there and then once it's in you'll feel once you got it flush down on that fitting you'll feel that it is securely in there and that it does not want to easily pop out. Next you'll attach your braided line. It has a 3 8 in fitting that'll uh, attach right to your QDF. Uh, make sure the threads are lined up nicely before tightening it down and you'll use a 7 16 inch wrench to tighten that down. You might want to hold on to the fitting while you're doing that so that you don't pop your fitting back out of there. Um, then you'll attach the other end of that same 3 a.m. line to your reservoir and tighten that down. Uh, now keep in mind that you're going to run those lines before you attach it to the reservoir. You're going to run that line uh, to the position that you like and, and of course your reservoir will be uh, mounted in your vehicle before you finally attach those lines.